Good morning, everybody. My name is Cindy Elliott. I am the president and CEO of CE Consulting. It's such a privilege to meet with you today. I am also a native Minnesotan, and I have to say that I've always felt a connection with the Maurice's brand and its small town roots. I'd like to start by taking a look at the Maurice's customer. Who is she? The Maurice's customer is a millennial woman who lives in a small town community in North America. She is a middle income consumer, so being budget conscious is important to her. She looks for styles that are on trend and flattering for all shapes and sizes, and she regularly communicates through social media. She especially favors Instagram, and she really enjoys the flexibility of online and in-store shopping at her convenience. What do we know about millennial women? Well, we know millennial women live their lives online. They research online, they communicate online, they socialize online. A recent survey from Bustle even shows that 80% of the women polled admit that social media is the best way to reach them. And 40% of those distinctly referred to Instagram. We also know that 94% spend more than an hour shopping online every day. The retail landscape is changing and it's changing fast. Consumer preferences have shifted. From 2017 to 2019, online shopping increased by 38%. And in 2019, 60% of the purchases millennials made were online. 37% of those purchases were made with mobile devices. Retailers are struggling to keep up. You're all familiar with the retail apocalypse. It seems like every week there's another store closing in the headlines. Analysts even say that 75,000 retailers will be out of business by 2026. And why is that? Well, consumers want instant access to their favorite brands, and they demand a seamless experience between in-store and online shopping. Retailers who can't keep up with these expectations are not sustainable in today's market. So what does the online shopping experience look like for Maurice's today? Conversations on Instagram and Facebook are bringing to light customer service challenges. Customers talk about a clunky rewards app, and even more alarming, there's a poor online experience. Customers complain of inefficient payment options and return hassles between online and in-store purchases. So this is really a clear indication we're lacking in sophisticated technology. And when it comes to retail, technology is closing the gap between online and in-store experiences. Retail sales from mobile apps will increase by more than 63% between 2018 and 2020. And augmented reality is getting more and more mainstream. 68% of shoppers said they would spend more time with a retailer's products if augmented reality, reality were available. And this year, the retail sector will spend $1.5 billion on uh, augmented reality. Maurice's needs to step it up. An investment in technology is really critical for Maurice's future. An omni-channel strategy is necessary to engage with today's demanding consumer, and Maurice's needs to meet and exceed the customer expectations to stay ahead of the competition. So how do we get there? Number one, we'll need to develop a functional, sophisticated mobile app to provide that seamless experience. Number two, we'll need an enhanced content marketing strategy to support the app and keep the customers coming back. And number three, we'll need a robust acquisition campaign on the social platforms that Maurice's customers use the most to drive awareness of the new app and to grow the user base. Technology is an investment and Maurice's competitors are already seeing the benefits. Look at RE for example. RE continues to invest in omni-channel resources and technology. They saw 27% annual growth from 2015 to 2018 with its app and mobile channels now representing over half of its digital business. With the new app I'm proposing, customers will have an additional shopping channel at their fingertips. The apps will support a multi-channel customer experience and loyalty program. It will utilize electronic payment processing using any payment option the customer chooses. It will also serve as an integrated content hub and delivery system to keep communication flowing from channel to channel. And the added benefit here is this integration will allow Maurice's to gather customer data and insights and deliver more personalized experiences. So let's go back to augmented reality. AR technology will have a big impact on consumer habits. Over 60% of consumers say AR can improve their daily lives, including how they shop. 
The Gap and Converse are two retailers that have been experimenting with AR solutions. The new Marisa's app will have an advanced AR component with virtual fitting room. One of the challenges with fashion and online shopping is the inability to try on clothes. With the AR component, customers can create a lookalike avatar with a personalized measurements. This is a step above competitors like The Gap who uses a mannequin figure with their virtual fitting room. With a personalized, realistic virtual fitting room, customers can feel good about the fit and reduce online returns. So what about content marketing? With an enhanced content marketing strategy, we will incorporate valuable, relevant fashion content to connect with the cons consumer. We'll follow an ongoing editorial calendar to feed blog posts, email, and social media. We'll have a bi-weekly blog post. We'll feature tips and tutorials from Marisa stylists, brand ambassadors, and influential guest bloggers. This will be engaging with the customer to build relationships and brand preference and also encourage app uses. So it's all really a, a very positive cycle. So we have an app and we have content to support the app, but we'll need to grow the app user base. To do this, we'll introduce the app on Instagram and Facebook to drive installs. We'll use short videos, images, carousels, and GIFs to highlight features and benefits. We'll use organic posts as an awareness tactic, and we'll generate excitement and engagement with the online community to share and amplify reach. We will use paid Instagram and Facebook ads optimized for app installs for that lower funnel conversion. This plan in its depth and complexity will require 11 to 12 months of preparation and planning. So with that, I would recommend aiming for the 2021 spring summer fashion season. So research and planning will need to begin this month. Since this plan includes a sophisticated mobile app, development will require six months. We would run a one-year acquisition campaign on Instagram and Facebook with plans to wrap up the campaign in March 2022. Our goals and performance for this proposal will ultimately be to increase total revenue by 3%. To get there, we will first need to grow a healthy user base for the app, the plan is designed to reach 500,000 app installs within the first year of launch. Then we will aim for an 8% retention rate within the first six months and a 10% retention rate by 12 months from launch. With a strong content marketing plan, I feel we can hit these targets. Now to answer the question you've all been waiting on, cost. I've prepared for you three package options. The first will be the full package including the development of a highly sophisticated e-commerce mobile app with virtual fitting room supporting a customizable lifelike avatar. And this really is going to give the biggest competitive advantage. With this comes a full editorial calendar with 24 blog posts, email and social media content, plus a one-year social media acquisition campaign and project management support for about 1.5 million investment. Second is uh, the development of a mobile app with a more simplified augmented reality fitting room, more similar to Gap's mannequin feature. This package would include 12 blog posts, a six month acquisition campaign and project management. And uh, this would roll up to a $1 million investment. And third is the development of a mobile app without augmented reality, 12 blog posts, a six month Instagram and Facebook acquisition campaign and no project management support for the investment of $500,000. So with that, I have left time for questions and discussion. I am happy to open the floor. Thank you.